Hi friends, welcome back to 5 Power Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In this video, we are going to look at how to configure site to site VPN on FTD, which is 5 Power Threat Defense, managed through 5 Power Device Manager. In this demonstration, I am going to use a tunnel between a 5 Power Threat Defense and ASA. In, uh, so this 5 power thread defense I'm going to manage through 5 power device manager which is an on box manager so you can use this as a reference and then uh, the AC can be either at any other device it could be uh, F AC or it could be an FTD managed by some other FMC or a def uh, or an FDM itself let's see how to configure this uh, before going into the configuration, uh, this is the set topology that I'm going to use. I have uh, FTD 6.2.1 running on uh, Firepower 2140. Uh, I have it has inside and outside, and then on the peer network, I have AC 9.8.2 running on Firepower 2110. And I have two window PC on either side of the whole, um, firewall for verifying the traffic. Let's see how to configure. I have this FDM uh, Firepower Device Manager managing uh, FTD running on 2140. Um, before, I have already pre configured some of the configurations such as interface for inside and outside, and I have uh, registered this box to the Cisco Smart Licensing. Please note that uh, registering this box to Cisco Smart Licensing is very much mandatory for in order to test anything be it side to side VPN or remote access VPN because without registration you would not be um, the box will not have a strong encryption enabled which is 3 days or AES will not be enabled on the box uh, on evaluation you will end up only using a DES encryption so if you want to use 3 days or AES encryption uh, better to register this box with Cisco, Cisco Smart Licensing and then um, I have all um, I have configured policies such as uh, ACLs and then I have configured a route I have configured route uh, so basic configurations have been taken care of uh, right now I am going to configure site to site uh, site to site Configuration is available on the device page. Uh, click create site to site VPN, and then you have this um, nice VPN topology view. Uh, as you configure, it's going to show you that um, the uh, things that you have configured. I'm going to define a name for this VPN and then set the peer IP in this case um, on the local, which is uh, this FTD. I'm going to uh, outside interface is going to participate uh, on the VPN and then the local network which is a protected network um, in our case the inside network for of FTD I already have a network object I'm going to use that on the remote side which is going to be uh, my AAC I'm going to be given the IP address which is 192.168.10.3 and then network um, network is the protected network out behind AC which is a remote network and I've already created a network here I'm going to use that so so as you done this click next so the moment you click next the it shows that uh, the portion that you have configured that is on the FTD as well as the local and then on the rem uh, remote peer so here in this section it, it is asking you whether you want uh, IP2 and IP1 both enabled or either one. So I'm going to say only IP2 and then um, set I, um, IP2 phase 1 and phase 2 policy. So I'm going to use AES uh, the default one on the first one and then for the IP6 proposal I'm going to again use the first one which is a, uh, make it as a set default. Um, give a pre key value and uh, just in case if you have NAT 
configured on your um, on your FTD, you need to create NAT exemption. In my configuration, I don't have any NAT, so I'm not going to use a NAT uh, configuration. If if at all you have a NAT configuration, just turn uh, uh, turn the NAT feature on. Click next, and then you get the summary page. Um, after re uh, reviewing the summary, you can uh, finish the configuration and then uh, deploy. But make sure you have access control policy which allows the traffic. So I have here one access control policy which to allow the inside network to a remote network which is the network behind AC. Um, then deploy the policy to the device. Meanwhile, we can we'll go ahead and configure policy on the AC. So I have a configuration which is um, I already have uh, some configuration which is required to be configured on AC. I'm going to copy and paste here. So for your reference, I'm going to leave the uh, this AC configuration on the description of this video. So if you can use it as a reference. So we have configured um, the AC. Meanwhile, the deployment is also successful. Um, all we have to do is trigger the traffic and then uh, paste the VPN. I'm on a PC which is in the inside network uh, behind the fiber thread defense. I'm going to ping the host which is behind AC. So as you could see the traffic is um, passing through. Let's do a verification on the device side. So I'm on FTD. So crypto as you can see. So you could see the tunnel has been established between uh, one and two one sixty ten dot fifteen, which is my FTD, and one and two one sixty ten dot three, which is my ASA. Similarly, you can verify it on the ASA. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.